guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you my go-to way to make matcha. Last time I showed you the traditional way, but this is the way I like to make my matcha every single day. I use the David's Tea Matcha Shaker. This is gonna be the part where you're gonna put your matcha in. This will be the part that agitates the matcha, has a little ball in there. And then it does have some mesh here which you'll see why. And then this is the lid. It's similar to the Carry Travel Mug lid, but it has a button on it. And I'll show you what that button is for. So today I'm going to make David's Tea Organic Ceremonial Matcha, because I'm feeling a little fancy today. Yeah, and if you haven't heard about matcha yet, it's a de-stemmed and de-veined stone ground green tea. So when you drink matcha, it's not an infusion, it's actually a suspension. So the entire ground up tea leaf, you're consuming the whole thing. You're not just steeping it, you're actually incorporating it into your water and drinking the entire leaf so you're getting every single thing that the tea leaf has to offer. Every nutrient, every antioxidant, and every last bit of caffeine. So matcha is awesome. It's gonna have a lot more benefits than just a regular green tea. Okay, so to start, I like to strain my matcha through this like mesh thing here. Um, you technically don't have to because there is mesh on the part, on the top like lid part of the matcha shaker, but I just like to do it through this guy first just to make sure that I'm not left with any clumps because clumps in your matcha is like the worst thing. I like to strain my matcha right into the container for the matcha shaker. So I'm going to go ahead and do two scoops of matcha right in there. If you are using a flavored matcha from David's Tea, you want to use five scoops with the perfect matcha spoon. But I personally am not crazy about the flavored ones. And then I just like to kind of push it through the mesh to sift out all those clumps before you even start shaking it. The matcha shaker just adds like a level of convenience to matcha. And it's a lot easier for like your everyday life. If you don't have time to like sit down and whisk matcha with a bowl and whisk, this is an awesome alternative that pretty much does the same thing just in like a modern way. Okay, so now I've got my matcha right in the bottom there. And now I'm gonna put my hot water. As I mentioned in my previous video, with matcha you don't wanna use boiling water. You're gonna boil your water and then let it cool for a while. Because if you use water that is boiling, it's gonna burn the matcha and it's just gonna make it taste like bitter and taste not good. So I have boiled my water and let it cool in this little teacup. So the matcha shaker does have a fill line on it here, like a little silver fill line, like it says David's Tea, and then there's a fill line. But I don't like my matcha with lots of water. I actually prefer a really concentrated bit of matcha, so I never fill to the fill line, and you really don't have to. I would probably just never fill it higher than the fill line before you shake it. So I think it's more like a like a limit, like fill to here and no further than like a thing that you have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in that hot water. Yeah, so the highest I would fill to is about there. But as you start to drink matcha more and more, you're gonna develop your own tastes. You'll start to learn if you like to add more water or if you're like me and you like to drink it really concentrated or you could even make matcha into a shot. So if you don't love the taste, you could just do a shot and then you're done. So lots of options when it comes to matcha. So we've got our tea and our hot water in here. So this part with the mesh here is gonna connect to this like agitator ball thing. And right like that, screws right on and then you're gonna just put on the lid. Okay, now it's super simple. You literally just shake it. So with the straight matchas, you do have to shake a little more and a little more vigorously than you would have to for any of David's Tea's flavored matchas. I find that the flavored matchas incorporate super quick, so you're just like that and then you're good to go. 
But with the straight matches, I like to look through and make sure, first of all, that there's a good layer of foam on top, which like this is beautiful. Look at those bubbles, gorgeous. And also I just like to kind of do a once around and make sure I don't see any clumps. And then once it looks good, which this looks good now I'd say, see, you can't see any clumps. We have good froth, looks beautiful. So once that's done, you're gonna push this button here. Pressing that button releases the pressure that was built up when you shook the matcha so that when you open the lid, pressure won't like explode in your face. If you do wanna add more water, you can add more right into here and just drink it right out of here. Otherwise, you can strain it into a cup like I like to do and then just like sip it. So I'm gonna strain mine into a whiskey glass. <laughs> gonna be a little fancy all right and then the mesh catches all the clumps so if you do end up with clumps after all that we've done to avoid them they will stay in there and then if you want to if you're like me and you absolutely hate wasting matcha you can always pour more water right in there and make another batch so I have my little bit of matcha ready to go and I'm gonna go sip this and enjoy and I even have some more for later. If you don't drink matcha quickly it does um, start to settle to the bottom so that's one of the reasons that I prefer mine more concentrated. So I just don't prefer like when you finish drinking it and it's been sitting a long time and there's like a whole layer of like matcha sludge in the bottom of the cup. I just find it much nicer and much more enjoyable and a more like luxurious experience to just like sip it like this. I love using the matcha shaker just because it's so much easier than using the bowl and whisk method. And I've just found that this makes me like ready to make matcha every day. Like it just is such an easy way and such a convenient way and you could even take it on the go and if you leave it in here and you're like bringing it with you somewhere and your matcha does start to settle, you can just give it another shake. I love the matcha shaker. I would recommend it for anyone who loves matcha or anyone who's looking to incorporate matcha into their everyday routine, which is a really, really healthy habit. I used to be in that habit and I'm trying super hard to get back into it because you're getting so many antioxidants and it's just like, a miracle tea, honestly. All right, I hope you enjoyed learning some more about matcha and seeing how the David's Tea Matcha Shaker works. Hope you're having a beautiful holiday season and thanks for watching.